What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another Flipping for Profit video. Today I'm extremely excited because not only have we had a few great sales over the past couple days, but also some very interesting stories for today's video. So let's get started. We're gonna be starting off with one of the sales, which was three of the NHL McFarland figures that I have been selling from that big lot from a couple videos ago. We did sell three of them a couple days ago, $20 each, a total of $60. That puts us at exactly $1,000 of total sales for the NHL McFarland figures, and that to me is just amazing. This guy was driving from over two hours away, and for just three figures, I thought that's a very long drive just for that, but he ended up just coming in the area anyways, and he does frequently come into the area, so he is going to be buying more figures in a couple of weeks. He already has some picked out, but I'll save that for another video, but finally, we are at $1,000 in sales, and this guy must have wanted it because he did send me a deposit of $20 for me to hold them. Now, honestly, I don't require that by any means. If somebody is interested in anything that I'm selling, I will hold it if they tell me when they're going to be coming to pick it up, if we can agree on a time and a place, and it works out for both of us. It was very cool that the guy was willing to do that. I didn't need that, but it was awesome, and it honestly built some trust right away between us. And then he is going to be buying some more figures in a couple weeks, which is awesome, so stay tuned for that. We did, however, get uh, some video games for our personal collection, me and Ashley. And so at first, whenever we were looking up for some of these games, we just wanted some new games to play for the Nintendo Switch that we could play together. Ashley's used to Nintendo and she always played with Nintendo. She's not really familiar with the controls for the PlayStation, so I absolutely love the Switch as well. So of course we wanted to get some new games for that and there was some great sales a couple weeks ago where instead of paying $90 for a game, some of them are on sale for $55, so that was just amazing to have that kind of a discount. Two of the games we did have to order straight from Nintendo, and that is uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze and Yoshi's Crafted Worlds. Now we did order them on Nintendo Canada, and physical copies were shipped to us. However, it was just hilarious, so they didn't sh send us any tracking or anything, which was weird for a big company like Nintendo, but a couple weeks later, we did receive the games. We have been playing the games, and then just last week, we received these two copies of the same games which we ordered that are sealed, and I'm just really confused about that. So we did reach out to Nintendo, I called them, and I asked them why two more copies of the same games were shipped to us. If you guys didn't know, Nintendo can look up your accounts and see any logs, time, and hours played for games. So they've seen that we have been playing these games. So I don't know if they just didn't believe our story, but in their system, there was no records of them sending an extra copy of each game to us. That is only an order for the first ones. They don't have any tracking or anything either on their end, which was just weird for me. And then, so I asked them what they wanted us to do with these, and the supervisor said for us to keep them. So obviously I'm going to sell them, but I just thought that was just so weird. There's no record of these games in their system, and I don't know if he thought we were lying, if since they, it shows we were playing these games, if he thought, since it only shows one copy of each game was shipped, if he thought that we're trying to return used copies as new, and that's why he said just to keep them. I don't know what it is, but I do have two copies of these games, uh, sorry, a copy of each of these games that I am gonna be selling. Both are sealed used games for Switch, usually are around $60 in my area. I'm gonna be asking $70 each, but I will take 120 for the pair, which is $60 each, but I thought that was just very weird for Nintendo or any company to send you a second copy of what you ordered, have no record of that, and then they tell you just to keep it. So free inventory for me for my flipping for profit business, but I don't know, I think that was very, very interesting on its own. And then we did have another sale today. So originally, uh, this guy did pick out eight of the NHL McFarland figures, and we agreed on a price of $175 for that. And then he did pick out some more figures. So in total, he ended up picking out 15 of the NHL McFarland figures that he wanted. Some were really cool ones, some were rare variants. 
He was extremely happy. We agreed on a price of $300, which is $20 each, and he was more than happy for that. So I did end up boxing them up and met with him today, and he was extremely happy to add all of these to his collection. But he also did mention that he was a subscriber, which I just thought was very awesome. I don't run into that a lot, but in the last month, there's about two or three times that that has happened to me, which was just weird. And it shocks me every time because I'm just not expecting it. But he explained he was looking up uh, people that are showcasing their collection, which I do make videos on that uh, and different things like that. And I think he ran into my NHL playoff videos from last year where I share my predictions. And he was honestly just a great guy. His name is Riley. Shout out to him, not only did I get a great sale, but he did mention that he was a subscriber, which was awesome. And it's just a really good feeling whenever people mention that they're a subscriber or they've seen some of your videos or stuff like that, it's just because I'm by no means a big YouTuber. And it just shocks me every time that this happens. It doesn't happen often, but in the past month, maybe two or three times, and every time it always shocks me. I did have one person message me for an NES zapper gun about a month, month and a half ago. Uh, one of the ones that I was selling and they did mention they were a subscriber. So I did sell that to them. But it's just been incredible whenever that does happen. So for the NHL McFarland figures, we're at a total of $1,300 in sales so far. We are $2,200 away from just breaking even. And it's going to be very tough just because there are a lot of slow movers. But also... I don't know how much more $20 figures I can sell. A lot of the bigger names have been gone. So we will see. Hopefully we'll at least break even with me keeping some for my personal collection. If I just break even, I'm 100% fine with that because that means I add it to my personal collection for free. And some of the ones I added for my personal collection are more expensive, $50 plus. So if I do get those for free, if I sell everything else and just break even, I'm extremely happy for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.